Hello everyone, this is Yamin and in this tutorial I am going to show you how you can upload your PC project on internet for free. And this is really simple. So here you can see this is my simple PC project and I am going to upload this on internet for free. So for it we need to go to this website which is triple zero webhost.com. And after coming to this website, just click over here, create free website. And here you can see free web hosting. And here you can see the sign up option. You can upload to website and the storage is 300 MB. So right now we'll just click on this free sign up option. We'll click uh, free sign up and then it will take us to this page. And here you can see login with Google. So we'll just log in with Google. We'll click this option and then it will take you to this page and here you can see hello start now so right now i'll just click on this button start now and then here you need to give your website name and the name needs to be unique or if you leave it then it will generate a name for you but let's just give it a name let's say php bookstore project and after that let's give a password and confirm password and then we we'll click on this button create so first it will check whether the name is available or not if the name is available it will take us to this space here you can see new website has been created and here you can see upload site we want to upload our psu project so we need to select this we we'll click over here select and then it will take us to this space and here you can see public underscore html so we'll just go inside it and here you can see only dot ht access so right now over here i will upload my pc project so my pc project is over here here you can see bookstore this is my pc project so right now what we do is that let's just go back and here you can see upload files option i'll click over here upload files and then select files and here i'll go to xam then htdocs and here you can see bookstore project and here you can see we have some files over here so i'll just select all the files not the folder i'll just select all the files from here and then click open there you can see everything is selected over here then we'll just click on this upload option and there you can see every file is uploading over here on my own and every upload is completed there you can see we can see all the pc files over here so right now what we need to do is that uh, here in our project we have a image folder and inside image folder we have few images over here so right now what we do is that here we are going to create a image folder so right now here you can see new folder option is over here so i'll click over here new folder and i'll give the folder name same as this one which is image so i'm going to show over here image and then click create and there you can see a folder is created over here. Here you can see image. So inside this folder, we are going to upload our image file. So for it, okay, let me just go back. So here you can see currently we are in the public underscore HTML. So we'll just directly go inside the image folder. And after that, we'll click on this upload file option. Click select folder. So let's go inside the image folder. Let me just select all the images from here and then click open and then click upload there you can see everything will upload on my own so right now i'll just fast forward the video and there you can see all the emails upload is complete so let's go back to our public underscore html and one more thing you need to make, make sure that uh, your home page in your website is index.php because whenever you upload your website on the internet the internet first check the index file so make sure your file name is index.php PHP okay so our this project has a database so so right now our project also has database connection as well so right now what we can do is that here you can see uh, if you are logged in in the C panel you will see something like this here you can see PHP bookstore project which we just created and here you can see view site option if we now click on view site it will show us an error because it could not find any database connection so for it what you need to do is that we need to go to our database and here you can see the export option in the database table just click on your database then click on this export option after that just click on export and there you can see database is downloaded over here here you can see bookshop.sql 
So right now we're going to upload this SQL to our C panel. So for it, let's go back and here you can see we have three dot over here. Let's just click on this three dot, then click general setting. And here you can see tools option. Just click on tools, then database manager. So right now there you can see there is nothing over here in the database manager. So right now, first of all, we'll create a database. So here you can see create new database. We'll click on it and we need to give it a name. Let's say our name will be bookstore and username will be the same thing of bookstore and we need to give a password. So let's just give a password. Uh, let's say password will be bookstore at the rate of A and capital A and on to three. So let me just copy this password and let me just keep it in uh, notepad. I'll just keep the password over here. You can see. So after it, here you can see the create button. I'll just click on create. And here you can see a database is created and the database name is this one and the username is this one. Both of them is the same name. Host is localhost and size is 0 MB because we did not upload our database over here. So here you can see three dot. If you want to delete it, you can delete it over here. But here you can see we have an option called PHP my admin. So I'll click over here, PHP my admin. Then it will open in another tab. And here you can see we need to give our username. And what is the username? Username is this one. So let me just copy this and I will just say this over here. And after that, we need to give the password, which I just kept over here. Let me copy it, then paste it over here, then click login. And there you can see it took us to the PC by admin. And here you can see bookstore database over here, but this database is empty. So right now what we'll do is that whatever database we just exported from here, we're going to import it over here in the triple zero webhouse.com. So here just select this database, then click over here on this import button or import option. Then click over here, choose file. Then let me just go to the downloads and here you can see bookstore database. So I'll just click open. And after that, we'll go down and click on this import option. And the database is importing and database import is complete. So right now, if we just refresh, here you can see in the database, we have some table over here. So right now, what we need to do is that we just need to go back to our uh, public HTML. So let's go back to our public HTML. Uh, we'll click over here and then uh, click on general setting. Then we'll click on tools. Then we'll go to our pub file manager option. And let's go inside the public underscore HTML. And here you can see connect db.php. So I'll just select this, right click on it. And then here you can see edit option. So right now what you need to do is that here you can see db name is bookstore, but in the uh, PC my admin, which is the DB name to this one. So we need to copy this DB name from here, control C, and uh, we need to paste this over here in this DB name. So we'll just paste this over here. So after giving that DB name uh, here, we need to uh, change the username and the password as well. So username and the database name are same. So we can just say over here the we can just paste it over here the same thing and the password was this one. So let me copy it and I'll paste this over here. This is the password. So after that just click over here save and close. And after connectdb.php, I also have the database name in the index.php. So I also need to modify that as well. So I'll just right click, then click edit. And here you can see username and password over here. So right now what I'll do is that, let me just copy the username from here. Then I'll paste it over here. Username will be this one and password will be this one. So paste over here, then save and close. 
So after giving the database name and password in the index.psc, we are ready to see our website. So for it, let's go back and let's just go to the home base. Just come over here, parent.tribos0ebos.com and here you can see for our website, we have three dot over here, just click over here, then click visit site. And there you go, we are able to see our PSC website. So we are able to see our website with the images that are coming from the database. So this is how you can upload your PC project on internet for free using triple zero web host. So I hope this tutorial was useful to you and you are able to upload your PC project online. So if you face any issue or any error, just let me know in the comment section. I will try to help you as much as possible. Make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.